Really, right now, we're all just looking for any signs of relief. In an exclusive interview, Money Editor John Delano asked the nation's Deputy Energy Secretary what the government's doing to help. How much more will gasoline prices go up in the days ahead? What we really have here, John, is a double whammy. Uh, we already had high gas prices caused by the COVID, uh, COVID crisis. And then, of course, uh, Putin decides to uh, invade Ukraine with absolutely no reason to do so. The slow response of oil companies to keep up with post-COVID demand for gasoline, coupled with Putin's war and the boycott of Russian oil, sent gas prices spiking, says Deputy Energy Secretary David Turk. But he says a meeting he had with oil producers in Texas this week could help. And they are ramping up production. And so that will help fill this void in uh, near-term production in particular. As for how much higher gas prices could go, Turk was non-committal, noting the good news on Thursday that the price of a barrel of oil is dropping. It got to be as high as about 127 per barrel. Uh, now it's back down as I'm speaking, at least five minutes ago when I checked the last time, it's about down to $107 per barrel, uh, the WTI as they, as they say. Um, but it's a volatile market. The deputy secretary says he hopes American oil producers would not engage in price gouging in response to Putin's war, but he deferred to other agencies as to whether that is happening. There's others in the interagency, other departments, Department of Justice, the FTC, others who look at that specifically, and so would have to defer to those colleagues about what they're actually seeing right now. So far, no word from the feds that price gouging has occurred. I also asked Turk about Governor Wolf and four other governors called to suspend the 18 cent federal gas tax. Is it time to suspend the federal gas tax? So the secretary and I, uh, all of us at the department uh, have been engaging with uh, the White House, engaging with members of Congress on this issue. No decision yet, but alleviating the pain at the pump, says Turk, is key for President Biden who is hyper-focused at what real people in the real world are paying at the pump, how that impacts their family finances and other kinds of things. Again, no sign that a federal gas tax holiday is happening yet. And of course, the bigger tax is the nearly 59 cent a gallon Pennsylvania gas tax. To suspend that requires legislative action. John Delano, KDKA News.